What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today we got another movie review. Yes, I know last week I missed a video. I had some stuff come up. Kind of kept me from putting a video out. But we're back today with a review on Child's Play. One thing I want to say, because I've actually watched a few reviews about the movie before going to see it, just to get an idea. And fuck IGN right now, right off the bat. Now, the one thing that'll help everybody probably enjoy the movie a little bit more is if you look at it as a retelling rather than a remake or a reboot of the 1988 version. Because this version of Child's Play was more along the lines of a retelling of the original story. It was a retelling in the sense of it was more brought into the 21st century with a lot of technological advances and whatnot. I enjoyed the movie with no question. It was basically, it wasn't, it was like a mix of a horror movie with a thriller, more toward the thriller end, with like little bits of comedy, which made everything work. The biggest gripe I have with it were like certain bits of the story that made no sense. Now, I'm keeping this as spoiler free as humanly possible. It's just like these little plot points that kind of fuck things up in my book. For starters, the very beginning of the movie, you basically see the inside of a sweatshop where they're basically manufacturing the Chucky dolls, or the Buddy dolls, which they were known in the first fucking place. And you see the sweatshop owner come up to this one guy that's fucking sitting there daydreaming and shit, and fire, like, first off says, oh yeah, I pulled you up off the street, blah blah blah, you keep on daydreaming, you're fired. This guy took liberty with that. Now, before I go into detail on that, my biggest question regarding that, and I've discussed this with a few friends that I went with to see it, Reyes, uh, Fuda, or aka Brutal Gunplay BGP Games, and we all came to an agreement as far as this, and our friend Jacob, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you out of that, Jakey boy. The biggest gripe was, first off, you picked up a vagrant or homeless guy off the street to basically program a doll that reacts to the technology from the same company, and you fire him. Needless to say, first off, I have never in my life met a homeless computer programmer. I'm not saying it's not possible. But I've never seen a homeless computer programmer. Not let alone, why would you freaking hire a homeless person to program your freaking dolls? Anyway, homeless guy gets fired, removes all safety precautions from the doll, and then just jumps off a roof and kills himself. Out of fucking aura. So yeah, mini spoiler alert, but it goes into my understand my explanation as to the issue that I had with the plot but otherwise the story was pretty well done uh, the connection between April and uh, Andy in the movie didn't necessarily have a feel of of mother son it was more like a sister brother connection so it was just a matter of like how that relationship felt between the two of the cat those two characters um, the guy, I believe his name was John in the movie, who played uh, April's boyfriend, played his part pretty damn well, as far as like the dickhead boyfriend of the mother. Uh, the kid Andy did pretty well as far as um, playing his character, the mother. I mean, again, like the relationship between uh, Andy and April, who is played by Aubrey Plaza, by the way. Ah. Uh. Anyway, other than that, like, the action was really good. There was a shit ton of gore, so it definitely earned its R rating. Needless to say, it, did a very, it was a very good job as far as it being a retelling of the story. It was, I don't necessarily consider it a reboot or a remake of the original Child's Play. It's a retelling. If you really, like, get to the nitty-gritty of it, it's a retelling. Uh, the characters were done pretty damn well, like... 
all the supporting characters, all the main characters. Um, the main gripe was with this, the story of it, where it, it was the beginning part that like really fucking threw me off. Or it was like you got a home, the homeless guy, who's programming the Chucky dolls, daydreaming, gets fired, sweatshop owner. First off, why would you have the guy finish the doll right after you fired him? That's like the recipe for fucking disaster right there to begin with. I mean, other than that, like, yeah, there was like some character issues, like they're very minor that I saw. Uh, none that really come to the forefront of my mind at the moment, but I do remember, from what I remember, it was like a few like little bits and pieces. Um, overall, uh, to jump into the rating for this, the movie was a solid 8.5 out of 10. I mean, I know, like, a lot of other reviewers are kind of, like, giving it, like, 6 range, 7 range. IGN, I, I honestly don't consider them a good, like, review base, m basis anyway. But that's for other re that's for some reasons for behind other shit that I, at risk of not getting sued, I'm going to say nothing on it. <laughs> yeah, don't sue me, IGN. But in all seriousness, it was a solid movie. I do suggest... Uh, seeing it, it's definitely worth a watch. The action was all there. The story, aside from that little beginning stint, it was actually pretty well uh, set up. Like uh, my main gripe was the beginning, like the the selling point to what's causing the, the issues with the Chucky doll to happen in the first place. What the fuck was that? Anyway, guys, my final. Uh, scoring on Child's Play, the 2019 retelling, not reboot, fuck everybody, I don't care what anybody says at that point, it's a retelling, is an 8.5 out of 10. If you guys want to like pitch in as far as what you thought of the movie in the comment section, I do reply to comments. And um, yeah, to close everything off, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video. And definitely uh, for a little like late birthday thing for uh, BGP Games, go subscribe to him. Go subscribe to Ray's World TV. I still haven't gotten back at him yet for stabbing me. Well, get him. Just watch. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.